Hi there everyone, welcome to another episode of Carp Master on the Kingfisher YouTube channel. I've had a lot of requests for people asking me what do we put inside a PVA mix for South African fishing conditions. Now before we continue with doing rigs and bait presentations, let me quickly run through that. I've got a glass bowl here for you and I've taken a little um, container with LL Signature Series Feed, which I empty into that. Then I've got the mainline Spot and PVA pallet mix, and I'm just going to add four little scoops of pallet mix. Then inside this container, I've got some crushed up hemp, I've got crushed tiger nuts and I'm going to add another three scoops of that. Now it's just a matter of just mixing them through. And I'm going to add a little bit of water, not too much. And I'm just going to mix this through. Mm, the smell is absolutely divine. Now, core salt. It's not just going inside my particles, but it also goes inside my PVA mix. And I'm just going to take just a little bit of that and I'm going to add it in let me just take the big ones out some big ones in here let me take them out there we go put that away and I continue mixing them through like so Hemp oil, mainline hemp oil, really, really good. I don't have a lot left of this. There we go. Hemp oil works phenomenally well in any PVA mix, in any spot mix. It really is one of those amazing additives that does the job doesn't matter where in the world you go fishing. And then the syrup, the main line, this is the essential IB. And I'm also going to be putting a bit of that in. South African carp loves pineapple. And this syrup just aids in this whole process. Now I'm going to leave you guys for a little while while this thing matures a bit i'm gonna give it literally 10 or 15 minutes and i'll see you then right and there you have it 15 minutes later and this is exactly how this mix looked like it's nice and fluffy if i compress it it makes a unit but it just breaks up into nothing again now i'm going to quickly make a pva bag or two because i also want to do attaching the bag to a rig and this is really interesting and i think you especially the competitive carb guys out there would love it now making the bag really simple i just take a little scoop and i drop it down the funnel and i like compressing my bags really tight so there i go i press it out and just pull a piece off i literally take my bag like that and i roll it so it's nice and tight and then i make an overhand knot like so and i pull it tight then i make another overhand knot 
like that and I cut it off there we go a neatly constructed PVA bag now in the past anglers used to use a stick needle that was pushed through then you would hook the the back of the the rig and pull it through but it gives you a little bit of limitations because if you have a pop-up rig on with putty or anything of that sort it causes a problem we've solved that i take my quarter choddy tool and i enter on the side of the knot and i literally just wind it through push it all the way through to create a nice big hole now i can take a rig such as let's see what i've got here here's my favorite tiger nut presentation with an orange piece of foam i have already got a piece of a tail rubber that is attached there so i'm just going to push it right through and all the way through so that it ends up like this I haven't touched the putty, I haven't moved the tail rubber piece, and I haven't moved the hook bead. And this is going to give me a perfect presentation underwater. Let's do another one. Let's see, for the competitive carp guys. Got a PVA bag. I take my choddy tool, I push it all the way through. Pull it back. I've got a nice opening. Here I've got a mini loop and boom with a size 8 crank. And I have got a tail rubber on. So I'm just going to push it through. All the way through. Even the putty doesn't move. And now I can manipulate this hook to sit nice and proud like that. Let's do another one. I've got a loop and boom, a bigger one, or I've got a pop-up rig. Let's do the pop-up rig. Again, PVA bag, I take my choddy tool, press a hole through, pull it back, take my rig, push it all the way through, here goes the putty, all the way through, and now I can actually let this hook present itself like that. I can now cast this rig, it's going to give me an absolutely beautiful presentation underwater. Hope you like it.